patients will, will, will watch this and read this and it's promising. Um, especially though for those, well, one, I know that there's always the point that specialists being involved is very important for this very reason. There's so much to keep track of. Um, it's, you know, not about intelligence, it's about focus, right? And so for a lot of these community docs who are generalists, they don't have maybe the time or wherewithal to be on top of everything you just talked about. Um, so number one, important to see a specialist. But number two, what are the questions maybe patients should be asking their doctors as we learn more and more about all of this? Absolutely. So I think there's a few really key questions. One is that in myeloma, we have a lot of great drugs, but we don't know the optimal path for everyone and we have a lot of options. So I think it's always a great idea to ask, are there any other options for me that you would recommend? Sometimes the care team will come in and give you their number one choice but maybe they had a number two or three that may be more optimal for you as an individual for some reason that they didn't think about. The other question is clinical trial participation. So at every time someone relapses, we always think to ourselves, is there a clinical trial? Clinical trials are not just for the very end when you've run out of everything. Um, because if you do a clinical trial earlier on and it doesn't work, you still have all those other options laying down the road. If you do it at the very end, uh, it may not work. Also, you have to be eligible for these trials. You're never going to be as young and healthy as you are now. So now you're going to, you may be eligible down the road. You may not be. So until we have a cure, it's all about putting extra options in the middle of the pack to leave us more options down the road that you can give at any time. So always being open with your team about side effects, asking are there any other options and about clinical trials. Yeah, and I love that you highlight that. Of course, clinical trials, um, demystifying it is something we're trying to do at the patient's story. Um, but not only is it better, younger, fitter now than, than later on, there are sometimes things that preclude you from, from being able to, to access a clinical trial, right? So at least if you go a little earlier, it's less likely that you've done something that would keep you out of one. Absolutely. Is that right? A hundred percent. You know, there inclusion criteria that are as simple as you have to be in a certain age range so you have to have a good enough bone marrow and kidney function or you can't have had another cancer diagnosis or you could have had these three therapies but if you had this fourth one now you're not eligible so that's why it's always good to iteratively ask your care team all right a few months ago a few years ago i wasn't eligible what about now I lied to you, Dr. Richter. My actual last question is, how excited are you, right, for, for these patients and caregivers? Um, you're studying this, you're there on the front lines. How, how excited are you now versus, you know, a year ago or five years ago? I, I can tell you with how I start my conversation with every patient I see with myeloma, a decade ago versus now. A decade ago, invariably, as part of that first consult was, myeloma is not curable. Um, now that conversation is very different. Right now, there are some people that we're curing, although much of where cures are, we don't know why, right? So we give someone a therapy for random reasons uh, and they do so well, they're cured of the disease and we're trying to figure out why. But my job now is to keep, kick the can down the road until there is a cure. And right now we're able to give lots of therapies that not only do so well, but they're generally tolerated better. So you're able to get further treatment down the road because you're not showing up to that fourth or fifth line with no bone marrow function, horrible neuropathy. Unfortunately, some patients are, but more and more of them are tolerating therapies better. So we're able to get more efficacious treatment in. And the goal is to get people over the line to cure. Thank you so much, Dr. Richter. Um, Director of Multiple Myeloma at the Blavatnik Family Chelsea Medical Center at Mount Sinai. Uh, give them a call. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure you've got lots of people waiting, but but no, thank you so much for, for taking the time to translate, not only share these updates, but translate them in such a way that's um, much easier for, for people like me to understand. So thank you. My pleasure. And thank you so much for having me. All right. And for everyone who wants to um, see the conversation with Dr. Richter, just head to thepatientstory.com where you'll find human answers to your cancer questions. Thank you.